Hello all, welcome to Growth Partners. A uh, lot of queries on GSTR 1 of uh, May 2025. Uh, people are not able to file returns from Tally Prime and that is because of an update by GST department. So uh, you do not need to worry. I'll quickly show you what is the update and how do you fix it. First I'll show you what is the problem. Uh, let's open to open a presentation. So uh, are you not able to file GSTR 1 for May 2025 from Tally Prime? So if yes, then this is the uh, solution way ahead. So you would be seeing such an error when you upload a JSON file. File could not be uploaded. Download the latest version of offline tool to generate the JSON file or ensure to validate your updated file against the template published at specification portal. You would be able to see such error when you upload the JSON file. But uh, uh, this is because of an update by GST department. I'll just show you what is the update. So if you are getting such an error, you do not have to worry. Growth Partners have, has got you covered. Starting from May 2025, GSTR1, GST department has made HSN com summary compulsory with a split of B2B and B2C. Until now, you were only uploading one bulk HSN summary where B2B and B2C entire thing used to come used to be uploaded together but uh, starting from May 2025 that is uh, that you will file the returns from June 1 uh, to June 11 uh, it's mandatory for you to upload JSON summary, uh, HSN summary B2B and B2C split as well so I'll just show you how to do that so this option is only available in Tally Prime 6.0 and if you have a valid Tally license by valid Tally license I mean if your Tally is valid uh, beyond May 31st 2025 then this is free for you so you can just upgrade to Tally Prime 6.0 you do not have to renew or pay anything extra and then you can you uh, refer the video further to see how it is to be done if your uh, tally has expired before 2025 May 2025 or on May 2025 then you need to renew your tally so that uh, you can use this feature once you renew the tally, you can call us on the number given in the description below for renewal. We will do the renewal for you. After that, we will up help you upgrade your tally to tally 6.0. And then you we will enable the options from where you can get the split of B2B and B2C. So the second point is kindly renew your tally and upgrade to tally prime 6.0 to file GSTR 1 of May 2025. Check next to see how to activate the new option. So here I will uh, show you the video of how, how do we actually use this? I'm just opening Tally. So Tally 6.0, this is the new logo. Uh, this was the old logo, what we have here. Once you open Tally, so I'll just show you the version. So this is Tally Prime Gold that we are using. Uh, this is our office email ID. And here, if you go to About, you'll be able to see the version. This is 6.0. So we are using the latest version of Tally. Only if you use 6.0, this option will be available for you. If you are using any of the below versions, this is not, uh, this wouldn't be visible to you. So how to activate is you just from the gateway of Tally, you would press F11. And here you go to set alter company GST rate. You click yes here. And then we have an option for more details. Here you have to go to show more. Once you click on show more, there is an option where which says, separate b2b and b2c hsn summary applicable from so here you have to write first of may 2025 so this is the retain return period date and not when you are using it you are definitely using it on first june or second june depending on when you file your gst returns but this date has to be first of may so that the gst return is uh, prepared in that fashion and uh, if you see your GST portal also, uh, if you click on HSN summary, they have now two tabs, B2B and B2C. So once you upload from here, automatically it will get split into B2B and B2C and you can take it further. So once you uh, this procedure is complete, then the other process remains as usual. You generate the JSON file, you check the uncertain transactions and then you uh, upload the JSON file into GST portal and you file your returns. Everything remains same. At the end, before filing the return, there's one more thing that you have to check. Uh, which I'll show you here. So this is the final final result after filing GST return. So even before filing GST return, before you have to submit, you can just see this. So this is how it appears. HSN summary, we have taken example. We have requested two of our clients to share. Uh, we helped them uh, enable this option and we had requested them to share 
their HSN summary uh, screenshots, they have shared it to us. So B2B and B2C total, like this it will appear differently. This is the number of uh, uh, documents and this is the taxable value, this is the IGST, CGST, SGST. All these options will be there, B2B and B2C and total. This was not there before uh, May 2025, but it's applicable now. So this is how it will appear. This is about uh, the change in GST returns and uh, how you can use your tally prime to do this. So in case your tally is not renewed, please get it renewed. And also there's a uh, uh, complete support available from our end. You, if you are stuck anywhere, please feel free to call us on the number given here, 9019946181. We are Tally certified partners and we would love to help you. Thank you. Have a great day.